they didn't like us. When she stopped to ask in broken English, per favore, please, dove a Jefferson Street? They pretended not to hear her, her own people, afraid to admit, to acknowledge they understood the dirty dialect tongue that slipped from her lips. They didn't like us then, she would say. Day in, day out, she worked in the factory, sewing samples, sewing feverishly, fighting fatigue, gasping for clean air, while all the while surrounded with dust. They didn't like us then, she would say. Hot summer days making pizza for her children, calling them from the window of their apartment, Bambini, 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 Basta, come home, manja. They didn't like us then, she would say. Now, now she proudly boasts about the, the olive-skinned people's newfound publicity. Now, she says, now everyone wants to be Italian. <laughs> On TV, she says, Mario Batali cooks Italian food. I smile and nod, but I hold back my tears. I realize La Lotta, the struggle. She saw it, lived it, speaks it, feels it. I'm proud to hear La Storia. The Italians invented food, you know, she says. <laughs> Travel Channel shows the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. She smugly laughs, and I laugh too. I think about them, not like an us. Now, now everyone asks for her meatball recipe. Now, they all love meatballs, she says. <laughs> she says no one makes meatballs the way Nabli Dons do. They like us now, she says. But I see pain in her eyes when she speaks. I take it in, absorb it. The way fresh pasta absorbs the Sunday gravy. I hold it in, deep within. This is our story, our culture, my cultura. She says they didn't like us then. I tell her I always liked us. Woo!